Hello to everyone who is watching the replay right now. I'm just waiting for some people to jump on live. Um, but this is the Activating Your Light Language event. And I might actually just... Hello to everyone joining. So nice to see you. Hi, Jiri. So good to see you. Just going to give it a minute as everybody joins. So thank you all for being here. I'm super excited about this event. This is such a powerful, like, vortex of power. Um, I do want to just, I don't know if this matters, but I do want to just briefly, I just like to share everything that I learn with you guys. And I just want to share, I know that a lot of people are really obsessed with, like, portals, and everything's a portal to them. And it's like a portal, That what's the difference between a portal and a vortex? Let's talk about that for a sec, <laughs> okay? Um, so a portal is something that you travel through and it takes you to another place, right? Like it's a, it's a method of travel. There are, they are very real. You can go to other dimensions, astrally there are portals and all of that. When there is a powerful time, um, you know, where the stars are aligning or a solstice or an equinox or something like that, that's a vortex. So a vortex is a time of great power. And this is the perfect time to do things like what we're about to do here today. Activate yourself. Um, it's, a, it's a powerful time to speak intentions and affirmations. Thank you so much to all the happy birthday wishes in the comments. You guys are so sweet. Yes, it's my birthday today. I am a solstice baby. Um, and it's, it's such a powerful day for me. And that's why I wanted to use this power, the power of literally like the minute of my birth at 152 to like bring that through for you guys and use that to activate you all. So anyway, that was just like a quick little information on the difference between portals and vortexes. If you're not traveling and going somewhere, it's not a portal. <laughs> it's a vortex of power, right? So I just see it so much in like, when everybody's talking about like, oh my God, we're about to like hit this amazing portal of energy. It's like, it's a vortex. Anyway, that's just a little thing of mine. Okay, so we're gonna get started here. So what are we doing today? We are doing an activating your light language event. This is a free event. Um, this is something that I do with my, not this event exactly, but this style of event is what I do with my members, but we do it every single week over Zoom. Um, so if you really like what we go through today and it really impacts you and you feel the difference, which you will, then you will definitely be interested in the membership. Okay, so first I wanted to talk with you guys a little bit about what light language is, because let's just clear up any like false ideas of what it is so that you can really kind of embrace this and understand why it's so powerful and can be something that you can really use to like advance yourself and like upgrade yourself, up level yourself. Um, okay, so, and hello to everyone who's still joining. All right, so light language is the channeling of higher frequencies. So you channel through your crown chakra, information, downloads, channeled messages, everything that you are receiving that is outside of yourself comes down through the crown chakra and then it can come down into the heart if it's like a download and it's wisdom and you're going to, you know, create about it or it's going to guide you in some way. Or when it comes to light language, you can express it with your throat and your mouth, your throat chakra and coming out your mouth. OK, um, there are also other ways to express light language. You can do like hand motions. You've probably seen a lot of people that are doing a lot of like hand motions like this. It's just a form of expression. Your body is channeling and it becomes a physical channel where the, the high frequencies that are coming through you are being expressed in different ways. Some people move their whole bodies. Some people speak light language and some people um, can sing it and make music. And I think that's probably my favorite. I love um, like Activation Vibration. If you follow her, she makes some really beautiful light language music. Um, okay, so that's the different ways that it can be expressed. So here's what I really want you to understand. Okay, so this is super important for this event because we're gonna activate two different kinds of this uh, like light language, we'll call it. Okay, so the first one is light language, which we just described. And what is light language? It is outside of yourself 
and then you channel it through your body. You become the channel, okay? So what are you channeling? You could be channeling a being, like I channel Archangel Haniel all the time. She is such a beautiful, divine, feminine, high frequency being, and she specializes in light language, and she likes to sing it, and she's a very powerful healer. Um, we're gonna be using her today. You could channel God source with light language. You could channel a realm, a, a place, a dimension, Lyra light language, the Fey light language, Pleiadian light language. You could channel, really, there's just so much, right? So, so what does that mean? It means that it is coming from outside of yourself and then you are channeling it from the crown chakra and out, okay? That's what light language is. You are the instrument. Now, I just want to introduce you to something else. There is something called soul language, okay? And hello to everyone joining. It's so nice to see everyone here today. Um, and thank you to all the, all the birthday wishes that are still coming up. I'm so, so grateful. And hello, Agnes. I'm so grateful to have you in the membership as well. Okay, so we've talked about light language. It's outside of yourself, and you channel it through. What is soul language then? Can anyone guess what that is and pop it into the comments? Have you heard me talk about it before? Do you have an idea of what's the difference between light language and soul language? Because light language, it comes from outside of yourself, and you're just channeling it like the instrument. You're the instrument to channel it. Okay, so then that means that soul language comes from within. It's not an outer source. A lot of people confuse the two and that's okay. But soul language is actually the expression of your soul. Okay, so it comes from within you. It's the expression of your soul frequency. So it's not a higher frequency outside your body that you're bringing through. It's from in your soul. And does anybody know where your soul sits within your body? Maybe you've heard of something before called the high heart. The high heart is between the throat and the heart chakra. The heart chakra is right in the center of your chest. The throat chakra starts at the base of your throat here. In between these two places is something called the high heart. It's the seat of your soul. And I always get chills every time I say that because it's so beautiful and it's so true. It's the throne of your soul in between your heart and your throat, actually towards the back a little bit towards your spine is your high heart, the seat of your soul and the throne of your soul. Okay, so so where does soul language come from then? It comes from the high heart. Yes, everyone's saying high heart, beautiful. Um, it comes from the high heart. It is the expression of your soul frequency, not an outside frequency, comes from within you. It's yours, okay? So this is a compilation your soul language we're talking about. This is a compilation of the expression of every life you've ever had, every smile you've ever smiled, every tear you've ever shed, every romance, every friendship, every powerful thing you've ever done, every battle you've ever fought, every trauma you've ever faced. It creates this deep, rich frequency. It's who you are, it's your soul frequency. It's so full of, oh, just color and sound and wisdom that your soul language, it sounds very different than when you are channeling language from something else, someone outside of you. I love soul language so much. It's very powerful because it's very healing. Okay, your own soul language contains tones when spoken that can heal yourself. And I don't know if you've ever like sung a song before, this is random, but have you ever like sung a song or stated an affirmation, something where you used your voice and you made yourself cry or even tear up a little bit? It's because the tones in your voice are healing for you. You're supposed to use them in healing. And then they can also call in other people that resonate with those tones and heal them as well. Okay, so, so huge difference really between light language and soul language. There's a really big difference here. Um, light language is an outer frequency outside of yourself that you channel through. And they're both important and they both can be used in powerful ways. Soul language comes from within you and it's a powerful expression of who you really are. Okay, so we're going to actually do an activation today on both of these. We're going to do a light language activation using Archangel Haniel, whom I love to channel because she is so, um, she's really working with humanity so much. 
she has this huge beautiful heart she's so full of unconditional love frequencies uh, and compassion she's who you would want to turn to if you were trying to learn like self-love self-compassion um, really trying to like do self-care then that would be like Archangel Haniel that would help you so we're gonna use Archangel Haniel to activate your light language centers that means we're going to be activating from the crown to the throat because remember when it's coming from outside of yourself it comes in through the crown and then it goes out through the throat okay so we're going to be doing an activation of that area in your body physically and energetically with Haniel and then we're going to be doing a soul language activation and this is something that we're going to have to call on your higher self to do and that's going to be where they go into that high heart area where your soul is sitting in the throne in your body within the human physical body that's where the soul sits that's where it like plugs in and lives there um unless it's leaving the body for astral travel or something like that so we're going to call in your higher self to do that okay so we're going to get started on that i i feel like i've missed so many comments but i just want you to know that i'm here for it and i love you um, and I'm so glad that you're all connecting with one another. All right, so if you're ready, I'd like to get started on the first way that we're going to do this is activating light language with Archangel Haniel. So in order to really receive, I really want you to make sure that you are in a space where you're not going to be interrupted. So if you need to go into another room right now, that would be ideal. Um, somewhere where you feel like you can make sounds and you're not going to feel like people are listening or if they are you don't care um, because I want you to really be able to fully embody this frequency this activation that's going to come through your body okay so we're going to get started now so everybody this is your little warning to get comfy in a seat um, to get into a private space if you'd like to work with any kind of crystals, I have a Lemurian quartz right now that I've got sitting here on my book. Um, and I encourage you to like use clear quartz or Lemurian quartz are great for this. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do now before we um, call in Archangel Haniel is we're gonna set up a sacred space. Okay, so in order to do that, I'm gonna ask you all to place your hands over your heart with me. Okay, so get situated wherever you are. I still feel like a lot of activity coming from your energy. So I'm going to give you a moment to just get situated, get seated, get comfortable, and let's get started. Okay, so hands over heart with me now as we're really going to tune in. And the first thing that I want you to do is take three deep breaths. And I'm going to guide you through these breaths. And they are going to clear your mind, clear your heart, get you here in this present moment with me. Okay, so everyone together now, I want you to inhale. Two, three, four. Hold the breath at the top. And exhale. Two, three, four. Another nice deep breath in. Two, three, four, hold the breath and exhale. Two, three, four. Last deep breath in. Two, three, four, holding that breath at the top and exhale. Two, three, Four. Beautiful. Now keeping your eyes closed, I want you to make sure that you are in receiving mode. Receiving mode means that your body starts to feel heavy and relaxed. You allow your shoulders to droop a little bit. You let the tension melt out of your neck, maybe moving your neck back and forth a few times. Okay, let's take your hands away from your heart and place them in your lap, palms up to receive. Breathing nice and calm and deep. And to really get into receiving mode, just tilt your head back a little bit like this. That's a really open way to receive energy. Okay, so we're palms up, 
shoulders relaxed, neck relaxed, spine relaxed and supported, tilting head back a little bit. Beautiful. So now I'm going to call on Archangel Michael. He's joining you on your left hand side now. I'm going to ask Archangel Michael to join every single person here that's watching live or in the replay. Feel his presence on your left as this powerful angel vibrates at a very high frequency. He usually brings with him not just that high vibration, but a lot of heat. You might feel some heat coming in or just his consciousness, his personality there. And I'm going to ask Archangel Michael now to make himself known to you. So just take a moment to be quiet, breathe to receive, and see what you feel coming from the left. The left-hand side of the room or your body. I felt a lot of like air pressure changing in my left ear. Like he's ex his energy is very expansive and it almost presses against the eardrum in a way. Okay, so now asking Archangel Michael to please place around each one of us a protective bubble of light. And he sends around your aura now this blue light. And it completely seals you in and protects you so that you are safe to open up and nothing can penetrate that bubble of light that is not for your highest good, okay? Because it's a high frequency protective barrier and only other high frequencies may enter through. So we set up the sacred space with protection first, always. Now I'm gonna call in Archangel Raphael to your right hand side. Calling in Raphael now, please join us. And take a moment to just really feel that he is joining you in your space. He is multidimensional. These angels can be with all of us at once. What do you feel on the right-hand side that's different than the left? Feel their difference in their personalities, in their energy, in the way that they express themselves through their frequency and their power. It's a lot gentler of a presence than, Raph or than Michael, Archangel Michael. Archangel Raphael is this beautiful healing angel emotional healing, physical healing, also very invested, invested in humanity and how we're doing and always wanting to help. So Archangel Raphael, I now invite you to please place around our auras a protective healing green light. So going over top of the blue now is this green light of healing. And this green energy has almost like a menthol quality to it. It's cooling and refreshing. Placing that over you now, and it also begins to seep in through your aura, through your energy fields, through the layers into your body, giving you great healing. Okay, and now I'm going to call an Archangel Haniel to join us. She comes in from the front. Okay, so feel her presence now joining you, standing in front of you, kneeling in front of you. Maybe she places her hands on your knees and you can feel that or over your heart or your arms. She is the angel of divine feminine expression, gentleness, love, sweetness, compassion, vulnerability, love. So much love for others and ourselves. She really believes in self-love and self-compassion being one of the number one things that are so important, that self-care. So feel that beautiful feminine angel there joining you. And she's going to be working with us to activate your light language centers. But just before we get started here, I'm going to call on God's source to send down your white light because when we call on God's source and we surround ourselves with white light, it instantly begins to raise up our frequency and it makes it easier for us to interact with these higher beings because we can meet them on the level where they're at. So I call on God's source now 
And when I do this, I visualize a doorway of light at the edge of the universe opening up and white and golden light starts to pour out of this door. It pours down through the stars like a waterfall, through the Milky Way, all the way towards Earth. And as it approaches Earth, I can see in my mind's eye Earth getting closer and closer and closer as if I am that white light approaching us. And as it breaches the atmosphere of Earth, it locates where you are. Everyone here today, it finds you through your focal point of consciousness. So again, if you're here live or if you're watching in the replay, this white light has just found you and is beginning to approach your home. This light is intelligent. It's pure source, it's pure potential, it's life force, it's God. It's what you're made of, what your soul is made of. And it locates you and zeroes in, getting closer and closer and closer to your home, coming in now through the, the roof and the ceiling, coming now down towards your crown chakra, and it starts to coat your entire body and energy fields. As it touches the crown chakra, it also melts over your head, your scalp, your eyebrows, your ears, your jaw, and everything that it touches, the tension just melts away. So feel now as this white light pours over you, like almost like the consistency of like honey, as it pours down, it clings and you get, it, it absorbs into you, raising your frequency. So feel that white light now touching the top of your head, melting down over your forehead, the tension in your eyebrows leaving, melting down now over your ears, your jaw, your neck, your shoulders, and they get nice and heavy and relaxed going down over your chest and your back, your stomach, down past your hips and your lower back, going through the spine as well, all the way down to the root. This white light now pours down over your legs, your knees, your calves, your ankles, your feet, your heels, your toes, pouring down through your arms, all the way down to your fingertips, until you are completely saturated by this white light. And instantly, your frequency begins to rise, rising up higher and higher, bringing with it heat and a trembling or a tingling feeling. Believe. Open yourself up to this great healing. Open your heart. Open your mind. And allow it to enter in. Ah, <sighs> good. Beautiful. So now I'm going to be calling on Archangel Haniel next. Okay? So she stands up where she was kneeling in front of you, she now stands up and she places one hand on the top of your head, her right hand, because she's using her dominant hand to send the energy. I see her actually placing her left hand, her non-dominant hand over her own throat and then her right hand over your crown chakra. And I've never seen her do it this way before, but intuitively I know what she's doing. She's taking her own beautiful centers of light language in her throat and channeling it through, going from her receiving hand to her sending hand, right? We receive in our non-dominant and we send with our dominant hand. So she's using her hands as these tools. So feel now on the top of your head, her placing her hand and I see her with her hand over her throat, she starts to hum. She's sending these humming vocal frequencies into your crown chakra. These are heavenly and angelic frequencies now entering through the crown. Picturing the crown on the top of your head as a white lotus flower. 
and the petals all start to open to this song that she hums to you. Each petal laying back in a beautiful and relaxed state, allowing your crown chakra to open. Don't hold any tension in the top of your head or resistance. In fact, you can breathe into this to allow it to open even further. And when you inhale, pull that air, that breath in through the crown. So good. Your crown chakra is unfolding before our very eyes. It's expanding. I see the center of the flower where you receive. That's where downloads come in. That's where claircognizance comes in. That center of the lotus flower starts to expand as she hums and hums and hums this beautiful song. Your crown chakra is in expansion mode right now. It has been opened up fully. And her song, her voice is activating it attuning it to this light language that we will channel today. You will be able to do this with me. We will be channeling Archangel Henya. So now she sends her energy deeper, going from her um, right hand, and she sends it deeper past the crown now. Feel it going, sinking down through your brain to touch your pineal gland. The pineal gland is deep at the center of your brain. And as she connects with your pineal gland, she sings one crystal clear note and it shatters any calcification, any hard shell that's cutting off your pineal gland from your use. The pineal gland is the doorway within your brain to your psychic gifts. It's the anchor for those psychic gifts. And she sings this crystal clear note. Maybe you can hear it if you're clear audience. It's so steady. And it literally, the frequency of it just shattered anything that was holding you back in your pineal gland because it's divinely touched by this angelic frequency. Good. Continuing down further now, we're going past the pineal gland. We're going behind the sinuses slowly. So it's okay if you feel any pressure in your eyes or sinuses. That's totally normal. We're heading to the throat. Okay. Going all the way down into the throat where this energy of Haniel, this activation settles in. And now visualize your throat chakra, which is this beautiful bright blue sky color. Visualize that now as a sky with no clouds. And it's just so clear and expansive. And you can look left and you can look right and the sky just never ends. That is your throat chakra. It is expanding now as we speak. Feel the energy filling it up from Haniel, so much so that it begins to expand. And again, she uses her song to activate the center. Maybe you can hear her humming. Beautiful. So she has sent her energy down now all the way from crown all the way down to the throat. She has activated and expanded and cleared the energy centers that we need now to be able to use light language and to channel. And she's ready. So she's going to ask you now so that she can check her work and make sure that what she's done, that the activation has truly taken place. She's going to need some cooperation from you now. Okay? So... She's gonna ask you now to make a sound. So I want you to repeat after me and you need to do this literally out loud, not in your mind, because this is how she is now checking this activation. Did it take place? She's listening, listening to the tones, okay? 
So I'm just gonna listen to what she, maybe you'll hear it too, I know there's a lot of psychic people here, and I'm gonna repeat it for you and I want you to sing or speak this tone. Okay, and just repeat after me using your new activated light language center with deep within your throat chakra that is now connected to crown and pineal gland. It is this unbroken channel, this unbroken roadway between crown and throat, okay? A, uh, repeat this with me as Archangel Haniel now checks. I see her looking in your throats as you're making this sound. She's making some adjustments too, you might feel that. So say again with me, Aya, 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 good. Okay, so I'm just letting you know everything that I see. A couple of people there received some adjustments. So you might, if you're one of those people, felt something switch in your throat, a little flutter even. Okay, next sound. Hanu, Hanu, Ha. Nu. Feel Haniel with you. It's okay if you feel silly. I know some people are really like uncomfortable with light language, but this is such a beautiful opportunity to just let go. Get outside that comfort zone. Just try something new with me. Ha Nu. Beautiful. Okay. And again, just a couple of adjustments there. I think I felt one happen in my own throat. She's, she's really adjusting um, the frequency to get the right tones. So energetically, she's moving things around. Maybe there's blocks there from past lives, from words that you've never spoken. You know, when you hold back and you get that lump in your throat from held back emotions, held back words, not standing up for yourself. We gotta clear that all away to get a really clear translation here. So try it one more time. Ha nu. Okay, and then the next sound, stay with me on this. So tu. So tu. Feel that in your heart a little bit maybe? I felt something happen in my heart there. So tu. Yes, definitely that's connected to the heart chakra. So whatever expression, whatever meaning that holds has to do with the heart. Now we're going to put those sounds together, okay? So repeating after me, or Haniel actually is what we're doing. Eya hanu so tu. Eya hanu so tu. Eya Hanu so tu. Eya hanu so tu. Congratulations, you've just spoken your first phrase in light language. Do you feel that instant rise in your frequency? I have to describe it as like a giddy feeling. It's like silly giggles almost sometimes. And like a welling of energy in the heart shock. So try that again. Eya hanu so tu. Beautiful. Now that we have fully activated, Archangel Haniel has checked her work. Let's just let a little bit flow here. Okay? We're going to freestyle. So I want you to listen in or tune in to Archangel Haniel now. Okay? I see her taking a lot of your hands, okay? So she's moved away from the, the hand on the head and the hand on the heart, and she's taking your hands in hers, okay? So like feel, like even place your hands as if she's holding your hands. She's gonna guide you through this. Hold both of her hands now. And, and close your eyes if you need to, sometimes that helps. And we'll start with that sentence, that phrase, and maybe you'll start to feel what that means for you, a translation perhaps but you don't have to, it doesn't need to happen yet. And then we're gonna freestyle and see what comes after that. Okay, so you really have to like free up um, this energy 
by when it enters in through the crown chakra. Don't let it get caught up in mental ego thoughts. What does this mean? I feel silly. What is this? Totally bypass the mental energy with breath. Okay, how do you bypass it? You breathe. So as the energy comes in now through the crown, take a deep breath to bypass the mental energy and go straight to the throat with it. And you don't have to repeat after me here. I want you to have your own light language experience. But that first phrase can really help you open up. Eya hanuso tu eya ka ayomoya kianaya seoko chino yo soko yatiana eya naya omoya kianasa esia kana eomoya kiana and just allow this light language that's coming through to spark an activation in you feel it Sioko yo no e si amaya ke anaya to ya tiana e ashakana o yo so yo moeka e si kayana and i didn't even realize i was just moving my hands without even realizing it allow that to happen if you want to move in your seat like e ya hanu so tu you can just repeat that to really get you going that's our first phrase and then allow your hands to come in. Just allow this. It's very natural. You don't need to think about it. Okay? Remember, this is your personal expression of what you're receiving. So there is no right or wrong. It's like art. It's beautiful. Eya hanu sotu eyana kaya so yoko chiana eya so mo o yoko yene eata echaka eyasaka eyo so tu sianaka yamo eyasta. I send you so much love and light and healing. Sikiana eyamayasti ana usoko. You are aligned with the angelic frequencies. Sokyo no yosto yoko yomoye. Believe in the light language coming through you now. If you are uncomfortable speaking it, just allow your hands to express for you. Some people actually do written symbols, and it's so beautiful when you see it. These written light language symbols are encoded. They are powerful. And when you gaze upon them, you will be activated. And it's amazing how many people's light language symbols start to reflect one another and they don't even know each other. It's because it's real. It's so real. How are you doing? Are you feeling that light language? Before we move on to the soul language activation, do you feel it? Eya hanu so tu simiaka esianayo koyeste eyama eyaka echinayo so yoko yo no yamayaka. I surround you with love. I surround you with pink light of self love and healing. Sekianayo mo eastanayo koyesianamayake. I invite your frequency now to rise up, to match Archangel Haniel, who is still with you. See her eyes, her beautiful blue eyes, as they gaze into you. Feel her gentle, feminine, sweet and soft energy. She is so sweet. Simia koi sanai umoi kiana estiana, Asia koyo yatayamoe akaya noema. Beautiful. So I really hope that um, a lot of you are having an expression right now before we move on. Kira saying, Yes, she shows me how to move my hands. Beautiful. Agnes says, The humming she did, whoa, she had me sing. The light language day vibrations. I love it. Beautiful. Oh, and we're seeing some typed out um, light language here. Fika. Oh, I want to get this from Helen. Fika tiku maye. The power flows through you. Allow. Oh, I got goosebumps, Helen, from that. Your light language is so powerful. Beautiful. Love it, you guys. Okay, good. So now we've activated 
Um, so you can now channel with any higher being if you choose. Um, I mean, technically, you can channel with any being that you you would like to channel. I choose higher beings, so higher than my own frequency, because that helps to lift me up and to rise uh, my frequency. Asa la cow, my love is here with you. Beautiful. That did sound Hawaiian. That is totally a Hawaiian frequency, and I love that. And when you pick up on like a Hawaiian vibe, it's usually Gaia. She's very like her heart chakra is there. Okay, so now that we've done that, I want to activate your soul language. This is going to be very different though. Okay, so let's kind of just clear it. Thank you so much to Archangel Haniel, obviously. Let's thank her. Please show her your gratitude because she was truly with you today. And you can invite her back to work with you at any time. So please, everyone, just send love to Archangel Haniel for that. And we're going to move on now. So the next being that we're going to be calling in is going to be your higher self so that we can channel soul language. That comes from here, the high heart, where your soul sits, the throne of your soul, the seat of your soul. So I need you to locate that place within your body. So again, in order to tune in, I want you to get back into receiving mode because we're calling in higher self now, okay? Thank you so much for all the love in the comments. Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes now and I invite you to do the same because now we're gonna activate soul language. This is gonna be very different, very powerful, and very personal, okay? So closing your eyes, let's take a nice deep breath again. One more with a really slow inhale. So big inhale, long exhale. Good, good. I now call in the higher self of every single person here today in the live with me right now in this moment, but also the people watching in the replay. I call in your higher self now. Feel that higher self descending from above you like a mirrored version of you, like a mirage, like this divine higher self DNA blueprint, the higher consciousness, your highest expression now descends and it, it sits, it, it lowers itself right into your body so that when you move your hands and your arms, it's there. Moving the hands and the arms, you feel your higher self there. They've come down into the body and anchored themselves in your physical body in this moment right now. Your higher self came down in through the crown chakra, but then spread out completely, wiggling your toes, feeling them there. They are there with you in your fingers, in your legs, like fully embodied right now. And that can make you feel hot because it's a very, very high frequency, which tends to mean heat. Okay. So if you're sweating suddenly like I am, that is just confirmation that your higher self has joined you in this moment. So take a few deep breaths to integrate the higher self in with the now you, in this now moment, okay? So breathing in. You are your higher self in this moment. Say it with me. I am my higher self in this now moment. I fully align to the highest version of the human me. And say your first name. I align with the highest version of Jenny. And then use your name. In this now moment, I allow my higher self access to all that I am. I invite my higher self to access the throne, the seat of my soul by going into my high heart. And I now ask each one of your higher selves and mine as well to open up the doorway to your soul in the high heart where you reside. 
to wake it up. And I'm going to speak now this channeled message and I'm going to speak it to you, the soul. So allow your human consciousness to just take a break, take a back seat as I speak to who you really are directly. Beautiful soul, I see you. I see you there above the heart, on your throne, where you reside, where you activate the human, where you do your work from, where you connect from. Beautiful soul, you have so many colors. You have so many sounds. Your soul signature is beautiful. It is its own unique color and its own unique sound and tone. Unlike anyone else, you are truly like this snowflake of a soul. Tune into what that feels like. Who are you really? And I invite your soul to step forward now. In your energy, in your consciousness, take a big step forward into the foreground of this moment. We give over control to you. And as your soul opens up, maybe you see like doors opening up within your soul. And remember, your soul is this beautiful orb of colors and light and sound and frequency. As the doors open up, so that you can see what's inside that soul. You start to see these past life visions. Very powerful, impactful, meaningful moments all layered on top of each other. I see my eyes. Maybe you see your eyes in other beings that are not this human that I'm in. In other physical beings that I've been in. Galactic, fey, avian. I see myself as non-physical beings of just energy, like a Blu-ray. They look like the Northern Lights and they are such a high frequency. I see myself as an angel. I see myself as a human, different humans. I see myself as a dolphin I am in all things. I am everything. But I have had very personal and powerful experiences that make me who I am. My essence, my soul essence. What would that sound like? If it had a voice, a language, a song, what would that sound like? I invite that sound, that song to take form now. And there is no right or wrong way to express your soul language, but I am gonna help you get it started. Really tuning into that space in your body, the high heart, maybe even just placing your hands over it now. Let's begin. Beautiful soul, I call on you. Directly, wake up and share your voice with us. Share your lessons, share your song, share your legacy. And you can repeat after me just to get you going because my soul language can spark yours. Kotu Enomu Haka Chinaka Okyo no Eyamuka And now I invite you to speak 
a small piece of your own soul language. And to do this, don't think about it, just make one sound. As I hold space for that expression, make a second sound. And they can be spaced out. Eventually it will flow together in a sound of harmony. But I want you to make a third sound. And let's go back. And I want you to do the first, second, and third sound that you made. Do it together. If you can, repeat it. and feel the warmth of your soul coming through. Feel the deep wisdom, feel that frequency just rising too. Hoko eyo no chinaka, eyo stoko yo no eyo moya cheka. And you will find that it sounds very different than what we were channeling earlier because that was Hanyel. This is you. What do you sound like? I find my soul language tends to sound a little harsh, almost like Russian or something in a way, which is interesting and cool. Um, and it has a familiarity that I can't explain. So let's try again speaking that soul language. I want you to now just fully open to it. If that includes hand movements, wonderful, but at least get some sounds coming out. It doesn't matter if you feel silly, okay? I know a lot of maybe people here are beginners, just small sounds that you can put together. Don't think about what they are, like ha nu, e choko, e a chaka. Okay? And then just, if you wanna just keep repeating them until a new sound forms. And Kira, that's really interesting. She's saying it sounds way deeper in tone. Mine too, yeah. Hanyel has like a very light, sweet sound. And my soul language doesn't sound like that. Maybe yours doesn't either. Maybe it does. Maybe it sounds really different. So I'm gonna do a little, another pass of my own. Again, just to activate your own. Agnes is feeling really emotional. That's so beautiful, Agnes. That means you're really tapped into your soul language. And remember, the reason you feel emotional is it's literally a compilation of everything you've ever been through, which is like a lot, okay? Many, many lifetimes of love, trauma. Oh, beautiful. And some people here are singing. I love this. Kira, hem ohiam, ki shijam. I am with you, beloved one. Yes, love it, love it, love it. If you want to sing, please feel free. Hanyel sings all the time. Okay, so again, let's just do it together then, okay? Just a freestyle, just an open space to share your soul expression. And if you need to close your eyes, that can help. Or placing your hand kind of like this over your, because it's like you're sending out your, your, your high heart where your soul is. Yes, two people coming through is singing. Amazing. Beautiful, so let's share all together. Don't stop just because I am sharing. Let it enrich and we'll all speak together. And I invite your soul language to come through now and I invite your higher self to help you to get that flow going and that expression going. I express myself with feeling. I express myself with color. I express myself with sound. 
E asta ai o noi o muie ke ai am all things. E asta ku yo toke o yo muie ke anai ke. I am all versions of me in this now moment. Nothing is held back. Sto ku yo yo to yo muie ke anai asti anai ko. I am my higher self. I am my highest expression. I love myself. I trust myself. Stokyo e yamui kianayosto e yokoyotiana. I honor all the things that I've been through. Chinoyo koyostiana ayamui kiana. They were all blessings of medicine and lessons. Stino iyoko no yama ea saka. I hold no anger within. Simioko yatiana. I move into forgiveness. E simiako tu ea saka. Of myself and all involved. Chiniaka na ea maseika. I set myself free. Tonoyo koyokaya. I cut all cords. Only those that are for my highest good are allowed in my life. I surround myself with the highest frequencies. Beautiful. Okay, I'm just checking out some of these incredible comments now. Yes, everyone is really feeling their soul language um, as like a powerhouse. So this is something that you can turn to for healing, to raise your vibration really quickly, to like, it's very healing because you're expressing everything that you're feeling in such a deep way. I am all versions of me in this now moment. I love that bow tech. That's gorgeous. Agnes says, all fragments of myself have been un united and so it is. And so it is. Aho. Kira says, for me, it feels more like toning in a deep tone than speaking sentences. That's absolutely beautiful. There is no right or wrong way to express your soul language. Hiba says, I'm now sad inexplicably. You're probably pulling up some, this is the healing I'm talking about, because we go so deep within the soul, it can feel, if there's something within there to heal, it can come up, right? So then you might feel sad or you might feel that old trauma again. I invite you to continue speaking in the soul language until the sadness clears. You don't want to stop midway through a healing. So singing or speaking or the hand motions or whatever you need to do to like bring it out. Okay, bring that sadness out. Singing lyrically and crying nonstop. That's Orion's soul. You've really tapped in, really tapped in. Um, Infinite Beginnings, Helen saying, I am signing and all the vibrations are at my high heart. That's where it's coming from. That's the potent spot where it originates from. Nick Anderson says he felt anger turning into love. Now my eyes are watering. What a powerful... Uh, like transmutation, like you, you transmuted that into love. Like there is nothing more powerful that you can do for yourself than taking something that's holding you back and healing it, forgiving it and turning it into love. Everybody's feeling light and powerful. Okay, beautiful. Yes, and, and yes, absolutely, Botek saying, I love how you invited my higher self to embody me. Genius, of course, your higher self is going to be the best way to express yourself, right? Um, beautiful. Everybody's experiencing Egyptian healing, angelic healing, all kinds of healings, calling back fragments of life. Yeah, like a soul retrieval feeling where you're calling back everything to yourself. That is so beautiful, you guys. I'm so grateful for this because to me, this is like my way of serving right? I'm serving the light that's trying to come in to the planet right now during a time of spiritual warfare by inviting your own light to shine forward even brighter. So all of you are light warriors, um, maybe without even realizing it right now in this moment. You are sharing this with the collective consciousness, with Gaia, with Earth, this, this powerful soul 
uh, frequency, this soul language is so healing. And remember, when you heal yourself, you don't just heal you, you heal like you are connected to all of humanity. So it, it goes to your ancestors, to all throughout time, all throughout humanity. Stephen's saying, singing as we transmute unconditional love and healing bliss. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I'm so grateful to you all. Um, um, okay, so uh, Mindy just asking a quick question about the membership. What we did, we do have light language um, guides inside the membership. It's it's not like this. This was just a completely unique experience to share on the summer solstice. Um, but there are other beautiful activations within the membership that you can access. So um, I just want to invite everyone, if you are looking to experience activations like this, healing like this, like just we go so beyond what I've done here today. It's just such a small taste. I would just really invite you to join the membership. OK, we do something every week, alternating between Tuesdays and Thursdays. And Agnes is saying Jenny's membership rocks. Yes. And you really don't have to. And um, Kira is agreeing. You really don't have to make everything single event live. That's definitely not the point because they all get saved as these replays that become this huge library of workshops, healings, activations, astral journeys. Um, and Mindy saying, I love the membership. Thank you, Jenny. I'm so glad I have so many beautiful members here today. So I invite you to click on the link in my bio. If you're watching this on Instagram, check out the membership, see what's involved. It's such an amazing value for what you get, um, which is an event every single week. And thank you again for so many beautiful birthday messages. Yes, today's my birthday. Um, okay. Lastly, just before we go, I want to invite those who are feeling like they want to go deeper with an activation of your higher self. Okay, so beyond just an expression of soul language, if you are truly wanting to become your higher self, which means that you embody that at all times, you completely align to your highest self frequency, which means that then you would be living on your highest timeline. Okay, so if you're feeling the call, I want to invite you to join Unlock Your Highest Timeline, which is a beautiful course, but it's more than a course. Okay, it's a nine week breakthrough, basically, where we will be aligning you to your highest self through DNA activations, deep cellular healings, soul retrievals, group workshops, group lessons, a group reading I'll be doing. There's a lot that's going to be happening in this course um, to align you to your highest timeline in four vital areas of your life. That's your relationships. I mean, if you were in your highest relationships, what would that feel like? Your most aligned relationships as your highest self. So relationships is the first area. Your soul growth and alignment. So your spiritual growth and alignment, your ascension, taking you to the next level of your ascension your um, soul purpose, your earth mission. What's the reason that you're here? Getting your career on track, getting you aligned to the abundance that comes through when you really align with being of service to others. And then the last area is the human alignment. So taking the human and ascending the human, okay? Because we're taking our bodies with us. So those four vital areas are all going to be affected and brought up to the next level and aligning you to your highest self on your highest timeline. The course starts on Wednesday, June 29th, and the doors close on the 28th, which is the Tuesday. So next Tuesday, the doors close on this. So I really don't want you to miss out on this incredible opportunity. So if you're feeling called to go deeper, to truly activate and align and become and embody your highest self in this lifetime, it is available to you. You just have to invest in yourself. You just have to be willing to do the work. And I'm so grateful that I get to guide you through that experience. I love you all so much. Um, free content is on YouTube every Sunday. If you're looking for free content, subscribe on YouTube. Amazing videos every Sunday. Um, I also do an email newsletter. It's energy reports for the week ahead. They get sent out on Mondays. You can find all of this in the link in my bio. So free content is YouTube and the weekly energy reports that are emailed. Um, and then I invite you to join the membership and the Unlock Your Highest Timeline course coming up. 
I really hope that everyone enjoyed this beautiful event. I will be posting the replay. Much love. Enjoy the rest of your day and these solstice energies and vibes. And I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye everyone. Have a great day.